The multi-bagger listing of much-hyped Bajaj Housing Finance IPO has sparked a FOMO as the stock not only listed at a hefty premium of 114% but went up another 9% post-listing. Valued at Rs 1.36 lakh crore now, Bajaj Housing shares now command a price-to-book multiple of 6 times which analysts say leaves little scope for higher upside potential. Therefore, unlucky allottees in the IPO should avoid chasing the stock at higher valuations. Apart from the rate of loan and quality of service, housing finance is a commoditized business. So I would rather buy the other housing companies like PNB Housing, LIC Housing rather than try and buy Bajaj Housing now. If you're lucky enough to have gotten the IPO, then I would be a seller on listing, said D Street veteran investor Chakri Lokpriya. By garnering the highest ever bids worth Rs 3.2 lakh crore, the Rs 6,560 crore IPO was subscribed 63.61 times with about 89 lakh investors waiting in the queue. Post-listing, we recommend conservative investors to choose profit booking as the listing gain is over and above our expectations. Long-term investors can continue holding for long-term growth as the sector outlook remains very optimistic given the company's well-positioned business model. We believe housing as a sector will continue to deliver and perform well in the next 3-4 years and Bajaj Housing can tap the opportunity to lead the sector, Prashant Tapsi of Mehta Equities said. Shivani Nyati, head of wealth at Swastika Investmart, said investors who were fortunate enough to secure allotment in the IPO may consider profit booking now, but those who want to hold their positions may do so by potentially setting a stop loss at Rs 135 as a risk management strategy. However, it's essential to continuously monitor the company's performance and market conditions for informed decision making, she said. DR Choksi Finserves MD Devin Choksi said investors willing to hold the stock for 10 years will be most wealthy. Most housing finance companies are trading at an estimated PB ratio of 1 to 2.5 times. This gives it the highest valuation among peers and a 25% premium from the next company in line, which is home first finance company, said Narendra Solanki of Anandraki. The Bajaj Housing Finance IPO is also expected to bring the focus on other listed NBFCs, especially in the housing finance space. We see that this IPO may lead to a re-rating of private NBFCs in the markets, which have grown at 15-20% to in the past three years, but the stocks have not performed much, said Krishna Apala of Capital Mind Research.